finding an offer. Okay, so once you decided what type of market you want to get into, it's really important to spend some time looking at a few different offers. You want to ask yourself, is this a good product? Um, I think that you'll find that a lot of the products that make their way into the CPA networks are, are decent and, and that they're going to be selling well and meet these criteria. But still, you want to you know, check and see you know, which ones are going to be the best ones. Of course, asking your affiliate manager is a big thing too to do to find out, to get an inside track on this. You want to ask yourself, is there interest in this product? Um, for example, if you're in the weight loss uh, market and uh, a product is contains something that is getting a lot of negative press in the news recently that would be a good area to stay away from so you know keep that in mind are others promoting it you know if nobody's promoting it that there might be a reason for that of course um, I would not assume it was because you stumbled upon a gold mine it's probably because other people saw it and there's something wrong with it how hard are the conversion terms now, this is also really important I think that you'll find that let's say for example that you're going to be promoting an offer that's going to pay you a couple dollars uh, just for generating a lead for them. So let's say that you go and you find an educational offer. Well, there might be three different offers, whereas one of them um, just asks for you know two pages of information and then you get paid, whereas another offer might ask for six pages of information or the person needs to be phone verified or they have to enter a credit card. Uh, you know, Obviously, the easier it is to make the conversion, the more conversions you're going to get. So make sure that you pay attention to those conversion terms. How has the past performance been? You know, there's no reason you can't get on the phone or the IM and ask your affiliate manager. You know, hey, listen. You know, do you know what the word is on this offer? Are there a lot of conversions for it? Have people been complaining? Is there any negative reason to be promoting it? What do you think? And you know, just get their get their feedback. How good is the sales copy? This is really important. It's something that you kind of gain an eye for over time. Let's uh, let's look. At a popular product here, uh, a C Pure is something that's that's fairly popular right now. And this is just a typical sales page. So uh, let's pretend this is an offer that your network has. I would go to the page and just take a look at it. Uh, a few things that I notice here, uh, they they want to really point out that it's a free trial. You know, of course, it's going to cost some shipping, a couple dollars, but they don't mention that here. Uh, right here it says you know retails for fifty dollars so people are going to see this and be like oh man you know fifty dollars and I get it for free today uh, another thing that I like about this page is that there's a countdown here and uh, it really leads people to take action because you know you want to watch out for the the tire kickers the people that are going to come in and kind of like ah you know what uh, maybe I'll try it tomorrow you want people to come in and the sales page to really convince them you need to do this right now you know what you can get this this free bottle but you need to act you know, right away. Of course, when this timer, if you sit here for five minutes, when it reaches zero, you can still buy it. <laughs> no, no big surprise there. Um, th these credentials here too. I don't know how uh, legit it is. Uh, in particular, I know there's some some bad press that goes on, but this stuff does sell like hotcakes. Um, they're pointing out to the the consumer that CNN has talked about it. It almost makes it look like these places endorse them, even though I'm, I would imagine they don't. But still, it it helps in the mind and the psychological aspect. Of course, they have the before and after pictures here. Um, hey, you know what? That might be me in a, in a month, right? Uh, here, you know, they're talking about the power of a C pure, the ingredients, and uh, you know, social proofing of the celebrities that are using it. And uh, testimonials. I think it's good when there's testimonials on here because it's not just uh, you know these these celebrities, but it's also these you know, real people that are claiming to have used it and lost weight. So that's pretty cool. So again, here they're saying you know only 71 trials left, so you better you know, get it in gear if you wanna wanna get it. Uh, and again, here also we have you know they really don't ask for much here. You know just what they need: your name, information, and then on the next page they're gonna ask for your credit card. But that's pretty much it. So. I think that this is a pretty tight sales page and uh, something to, to keep in mind, you know, those factors when you're looking over your own offers. Um, you know, if it's real long and people get lost in it or if it's not a good match for your mix, then that's a problem. Of course, we're going to talk a bit later about tracking your statistics because you want to be comparing, you know, how many times people are, are going to your page and then, of course, how many times they're actually converting into a, a sale or a conversion. So keep that in mind as well.